Hello and welcome to episode 22 of series 6 of Master League Story Mode. Wasn't it good to hear that famous theme tune again? Well, I wouldn't say famous, but that relatively well-known amongst a very niche audience theme tune again. Yes, I am back in our regular format, our regular pre-recorded highlights package. And uh, yeah, so those of you um, who have been still watching the channel, which isn't as many, I won't get into it, uh, will know that for the last few weeks, uh, as a way of sort of counterbalancing having to live with a tiny human, a uh, human under the age of two months who's needy, I'd say needy, it's a bit harsh maybe, but they, they do need a lot of attention. Uh, so live streaming was the solution. Um, it wasn't the solution, it was a solution, uh, but it, it brought up a lot of problems. Namely, that a lot of you, I'm sure, just weren't able to catch up, weren't able to watch the episodes, and have missed out on a lot of Zico and Ponty Pretta's progress. Well, luckily, actually, I think I did time it almost perfectly. We currently sit with three games left this season, five points ahead of Curitiba. Now, I'm no mathsman, I'm no uh, genius of the old numbers variety, but I think couple of wins we'll probably seal it fuck I can't even be bothered to work that out but yeah I mean we want if we don't win the league it'll be mental so a lot of you probably left this series at about the time where we were absolutely dominating and it looked like we we're gonna cruise to win the league uh, we've had a bit of a rocky period and we'll check out the goal rankings for the league as we can see big Ziggy uh, still dominating the league uh, 17 goals from him this season Brodge with 12 in not many appearances uh, but we could be looking to say goodbye to him. And Takuma Asano, what a season he has had. What a first season he has had. I mean, you would expect it from a player who has played at Arsenal, albeit for not very long, but he did play there. Um, but he's come in and he's been as good as we hoped he would be. Had a mixed start, but he's done pretty well. Those are our three top scorers. And in terms of assists, it's Takuma Asano in there as well. Uh, Fast Eddie is in there. Jimmy Quid's also contributing five assists this season. Not as many as I would have thought of, actually. But yeah, we sort of dropped off the pace a little bit. We had a few difficult games, and uh, yeah, we lost some games, we were looking good, I mean, just going back, we had a draw there, we lost to Sal Bento, we lost two in a row actually, Sporting Recife beating us there, so although we look to be strolling to the league, we've allowed Curitiba a little glimmer of hope, but hopefully today... We're going to just kill that off uh, with an away win, hopefully, to start off with. And then we have the Derby Campiniero at the Magistoso against local Campinas rivals Guarani. That's going to be a big one. I'm very excited about that. But also, I've got half an eye on Serie A. So we're going to make a few changes here. Um, we're going to put some people on the transfer list. We're going to look at our budgets again just to make sure we've got that all sorted. At the moment, we've got receive and pay with transfer budget remind ourselves of how we're doing we've got yeah we've got a pretty healthy salary budget actually i don't think we want to be losing any transfer budget um so i'm gonna go with pay from salary budget for the contract options keep that as it is happy with that i'm not happy with the scouting at the moment the scouting has been of a quality that you probably would expect from a serie b side but i think the more that i think about it a lot of thinking there. Uh, we're going to need a much better centre forward, I think, to compete in Serie A. Uh, Ziggy, I think, will be back up this season. Brodge and Alan Snoozer, for me, have got to go. So we need a centre forward. I'm going to look for a South American still developing centre forward. I'm going to actually do both of these as centre forwards. I think Brazil's probably a good shout as well. Um, we'll go overall rating here. Get this done early. Give them some time. Um, and we still do want a central midfielder, but really we need a centre back and a defensive midfielder. Those are the two positions which Carlos the Jackal, Luis Carlos and uh, Reginaldo going out we need to fill. So I think we're going to change this one as well. We're going to go for DMF and we're going to go all of South America and we're going to go... gonna go overall rating give that give that a shot they might end up being too high for us let's remind ourselves now again people who've not been watching might have missed that actually in the last episode slow eddie vast eddie shot up to 74 rating which is massive for us we needed that for Serie A. hopefully he can keep that we do have a 24 million real bid lined up for him which is very very tempting i have to say if we can sign another 74 rated player before that and sell him, that might be a good solution because that is a pretty decent amount of money. He's actually one of our 
highest market value players and we're certainly going to need to re release some of the money from this squad before we make our way into Serie A. Uh, and with that in mind, I'm going to be pretty ruthless here. Oh, Alan Suze is already on the transfer list. Rog is already on it as well, but I'm going to just make sure that he stays there. <laughs> and actually, Alan Souza, I just want him, I just want him out. I just want him out of the club. Um, also, we want out of the club uh, Matthias Vargas, and we I think would be happy to say goodbye to Matthias Oliveira, which is sad to say he started the season so well, but he has tapered off. I don't like his attitude either after the contract negotiations. Disappointed with that. Brodge, we do have a bid in four at the moment, but 11 mil. I feel like for a guy who scored that many goals, we should be able to do better. And, and while I think about it, I am going to have a look at Brazilian free agents. Just get in early. You know, we don't want to miss out on any. Free agents are absolutely vital for us and vital for all Brazilian sides in real life. It's a huge part of the Brazilian leagues. Uh, and now we can sign a 74 rated. Um, there's a couple here that look excellent. 74 rated centre back Lucas Claro. We can't. We just can't turn that down. Not as a free agent. We've absolutely got to uh, try and bring him to the club. And you can normally lowball him pretty hardcore here. We'll give him a big old clean sheet option, a win bonus, three years at the club, million salary. I mean, he'd instantly become our highest rated centre back. And Matthias, an interesting one, a man with a lovely head of hair, and also very interestingly, Bebeto's son. Also very interestingly. He's Matthias Oliveira, so there's quite a lot of interest here. And uh, he could be the perfect replacement for an outgoing Fast Eddie, who, I mean, Fast Eddie's been good, but Matthias, essentially exactly the same player. Um, so if we have to bring him in, there's no problem with that at all. Try and attract him. Those would be two excellent free signings to make. Uh, we've got a left back here as well. A couple of left backs, a couple of not too interesting strikers, although maybe a backup striker there in Junior Santos. Let me know what you think there. Um, any DMFs? We are in need of a DMF. Things sort of tail off a little bit there, but big fan of those two signings if we can make them happen. So there we are, just a little pre-transfer window thinking there, but we need to get our minds off next season and we really need to concentrate now as we travel to Figurenzi. It's roughly a nine hour trip south, just down the coast, uh, to the city of Florianopolis, which sounds like a fake city to be fair, but it is real, definitely. Uh, they finished in 15th in uh, Serie B last season, although they were for quite a while a Serie A side, so you know, they've got some quality. And an interesting little extra fact for you, uh, they've been managed three separate times by a man called Argle Fux. Argle Fux, yeah, that's, that's F-U-C-K-S Fux. There's no Christian Fuchs, this is a proper fucksman. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's see how we line up today. Do we have an injury? Um, I think we will put Oliveira back in. Abner's down there as well, he must have been injured too. Um, Diego Renan can come back onto the bench. I hate when you get an injury that it ruins your uh, your lineups here. Is there even a spot for Matthias Vargas? No, there's not. So looking at this now, well, Ziggy, start him again. 87 team spirit is looking great. Uh, Jimmy Quids on a... Sideways arrow. I think we'll give him a chance today. I don't know about Oliver actually. I'm going to play fast Eddie there. I'm going to go with the lesser seen Eddie Pedro attacking midfield lineup there. We'll, we'll give it a go. Pedro can hit him as well. He's got goal scoring in him. Uh, we'll stick with the dependable Carlos Igor duo there. Everyone else looking good. Ivan on a blue arrow. Rasamon on a downward arrow. We do need another right winger. When he's in poor form, we don't really have any options. Um, other than that, take a quick look at Figurens, and uh, they've got a decent striker, decent centre-back, smattering of 60s. Let's get the win today. This could do it, I don't even know. I mean, if, if Curitiba lose and we win, how many points are they behind? I mean, it should be enough, surely. So here we are, under the lights at the Orlando Scarpelli Stadium, uh, 19,000 capacity, and it looks to be full to the rafters today as the Figurenzi fans need to come out and enjoy watching the best team in the league hopefully enjoy watching us finish top would that be too much to ask after a season of domination quite possibly in recent games we've not deserved it we need to step it up let's go pedro castro now rare start for him 10 minutes in finds igor 
And Igor flights one over the top looking for Takuma Asano. A man in great goal scoring form. He's taken that down and he's finished beautifully. And with our first proper attack of the, of the game, it's the Japanese goal scorer, Takuma Asano, who gets us off the mark. And that is very well worked there. Igor, the provider, potentially a player that we look to improve on next season, although he's not done much to. Uh, not done much wrong, really, in his time at Ponte Preta. And that is a uh, really good finish there. On his weaker left, I think it was eventually, but he's made a great run there. That's what I love about him playing in that right wing position, but he's got that free roll and he'll pop up anywhere. And he pops up there in a great position. In off the post, lovely finish, and we're off the mark here. That's a much better start than we've had in recent games. We've been starting slow, we've been conceding early goals. Look good today. The free kick here for the home side. Oh, and Janino has a swipe at that. Interesting Janino fact. There are at any one time at least 5,000 Janinos playing in the Brazilian leagues. And he's not done badly there. It's just over into the home fans. Head in hands there, but he's done pretty well. Give yourself a break. Ronaldo wins that well. Sano into Madison. Good turn from him. Onto the left. Gets the shot off. Could get the rebound. Doesn't. Really unlucky. Rare attack here for Figurens, but Bruno on the overlap's done well. Igor's back, but he's beaten by the uh, dummy there. And the header is wide. No problems. Some decent passing here from Figurens. Looking to stamp their own authority in this game. It's been all Ponte Preta so far. Bruno Avini sneaks in well. Now Pedro will bring it forward. Good ball into Marison. He turns and finds Eduardo. Can he find Pedro Castro? It's not a bad ball here. Castro back. Back inside to Marilison. Oh, the effort almost squirms through. And then the clearance from Wallace almost cannoned in. Off his goalkeeper there. Pedro Castro, who started the move, did well. Turned back inside. Found Marilison. Didn't really get much purchase on the shot, but almost beat the keeper. It was Carlos now into Eduardo. Oh, lovely flick into Marilison. The poach finish is just wide. Eduardo looking every bit. The 24 million ring out that we're considering selling him for today. He has been excellent. He's been the fulcrum of everything good today. And Marilison unlucky again. Ziggy needs a goal. And there we are. Half time here in Florian or Lodopolopolis or whatever it was called. And look, but that is the weirdest place to have a logo. They've got a logo. They've got a dick logo. I mean, you're never going to succeed with a dick logo. And they've not today. They've had a bit of possession, to be fair to them. But we have had chances galore. Ziggy could have had a couple. Eduardo's looked excellent. Takuma Rosano took his goal really well. Uh, let's kill us off early doors and we'll go home happy. Bettino now. Can they look to uh, build something here in this second half? Ibanez can't quite get to that. It's a good ball into Janino. Abner's there. Does really well. And now Pedro Castro. Away from Zia Antonio. That's better. Much better. Now Eduardo. Ah, oh, lovely. Ball retention here from Ponte Preta. Eduardo now. Pedro Castro, Eduardo starting to work well together. Asano back into Ziggy. Onto his right here. Looks to sweep it past the keeper. Really unlucky. Some beautiful football there. You know that uh, Zico is going to be happy with that. That is Joga Benita in action. Really unlucky not to seal that one with Ziggy's goal for the day. Oh, Pedro Castro wins it back well. Ziggy's made a good run here. Oh, the ball into him. Oh, Ruan there. Almost lost out. Takuma Asano now. Holds it up well. Asano with the right foot effort. It's just wild and lucky. The five minutes left here in a triple sub as we look to see this one out. Um, we've not been in our blistering best today, but we've had a lot of chances we didn't take. Um, you know that Zico's thinking about whether we can afford to give away that many chances in Serie A. And then looking at Marilison. Oh, but there we are, just as we spoke about it. And there is the big man. He's thinking, well, maybe maybe he can do a job, you know, he's good value. I mean, we've already got him. We don't have to maybe drop 50 million real or something on a decent striker. And Ziggy, I mean, that's his 18th goal this season. Top scorer in Serie B. A man who plays well beyond his ratings. Jimmy Quid's on the pitch here, linking play. It's a good ball into Abner. Another assist for him this season, but that is a very well-taken header from a still very young Marilson. 
I don't know, what do you think in the comments? I think we've decided, you know, a lot of the streams at the point where we were doing really well was all about are we team Broge or are we team Snoozer uh, or team Ziggy? I think we decided from that pretty conclusively that Ziggy's the man. The big question now is whether he is the man to lead us to Serie A or to lead the line for us in Serie A even. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't do a hell of a lot wrong. Oh, nearly. That will be full time here on the road. Does that seal things for us? We don't get a cutscene that tells us that. I guess it probably doesn't, but another good win there. And Marison with the deciding goal and another goal from Takuma Asano. Very pleasing all round. Um, we have had some awful games in the live streams. I don't know if it's the live streams or what, but I mean, that probably has had some effects on my playing ability. But yeah, we've uh, improved there and that's much, much better. So there we have it, Curitiba with a win. So that's two games left. They are five points behind us. So yeah, a win in the derby would seal it for us. Uh, how are Guarani doing? They are seventh, well outside the top four. Well, not well outside, a win for them today. I could see them push for that fourth spot, which would mean automatic promotion for them. We've got a nice long week now to prepare for what is a huge game, not just on a local derby level, but also in the complexion of this, hopefully, championship winning season. We've got some messages here. Lucas Claro is on board, Matthias also on board. Um, can't renegotiate with Hiroshima for the sale of Broj, fine. Luis Ricardo's become a leader, but we don't really need him to be there. So we've got, ready to go, for a combined 1.9 mil salary, which barely is any issue at all. Uh, a player that will fill the Reginaldo role and maybe push for a starting spot. His defensive awareness, ball winning aggression, quite low really, but physically, whew, 80 speed, 86 physical contact. He is an absolute unit. That's going to be good fun. And Matthias, very dissimilar to Eduardo. Would be a shame to see Eduardo go, but this guy's got the same stats and we can add 25 million to our transfer budget with the click of a button. What are they saying about Broj? Have they taken a million off that anyway? We'll, we'll deal with that later. I'm sure there'll be other suitors for him. Let's get into the derby, shall we? So we've spoken a lot about this derby, the 100-year derby. They've hated each other for a full century and uh, hopefully we're going to make them hate us just that little bit more now as we invite them to the Magistoso. There, things will be kicking off as we speak, as Zico looks to pick his team for the day. Igor, that's what I love about you. Dependable, adaptable, just a great all-rounder, and he's well up for the derby. Other than Matthias Vargas, the only player up for this derby, which is odd, but I guess we've already pretty much won the league. But still, you'd expect more. Ivan on a blue arrow, he was on a blue arrow last time. Didn't matter, didn't touch the ball. Other than that, I'm happy to go with Castro out on the left today. Jimmy Quids starts again. Marilson... Asano in the goals last time. Can they repeat that today? Let's go. So here we are under the lights and look at those flares. This is a local rivalry that they'll kill for, that people have died for. I'm not glamorising that, it's not nice. But it really just shows you how important this is to the citizens of Campinas. And there's Bruno Avini still captaining the side. Are we happy with him as the captain for Serie A? I think so. He's got experience. He's played all over the world. Like Takuma Asano, he's dropped down a level to join Ponte Preta. Uh, he was a youngster with a hell of a lot of promise, as was Takuma Asano. But Zico's managed to attract them to the Ponte Preta project. That's pretty tough to say. And uh, it seems to have paid off. Well, it has paid off. We're going to be playing in Serie A. They're going to be playing in the top flight next season. Can we secure the league at home against our local rivals? Nothing would be sweeter. We played really well in the last game. Can we do it again? Let's see him off. Come on. Chance here for Guarani. Ten minutes in. All is wide, but Ibanez is across. He's somehow beaten to that there, and it's in towards Ricardinho. He does well to find Fabrizio as well. But Luis Carlos is there to snuff that one out. Not cleared, though. Bit of pressure here from the away side. Not a long trip for them at all. It's into Alvarenga. Bruno Avini's there with an important block. But a shaky start here. Going to the box here. Bruno Avini's there. Whoa! Well, he ghosted in there at the near post, and it's an unmarked header. Just rippling the top of the uh, top of the net there. That's a warning sign to be sure. 
Here's Carlos into uh, Thiago Real. Harrison finds Takuma Rosano, who can look back for the striker again. Through on goal here, the low effort is well saved. And that Takuma Rosano Ziggy partnership is a pretty good one. Neither of them that great on the ball or on passes, but. They seem to find each other well. It's back here to Arnaldo. Space to whip one in with the left. Madison's there with a the header. And it's just wide. Unlucky. Starting to uh, turn the screw here. Even as big in the air. They call him the Airbus. He is huge. Well worked there from Thiago Real. Back into the orchestrator of this side. Pedro Castro. Two real quality players playing together there. Ah, oh, just a bit of miscommunication there. Marison makes the wrong run. Igor goes early into Takuma Asano. Holds it up really well, and Arnaldo's there on the overlap. He's given him a bit to do. He's got time to look up here. Put a ball in towards Marison. The header is saved well. But once again, Ziggy, he's, he just, he's a great player in terms of just getting in the right positions. He gets a lot of chances in a game, and there's no... There's no mistake in that. There's no luck in that at all. It's just got great positional awareness. Unlucky not to finish that one there. And it's on us even here at the break. At the Majestoso. And this Derby Campanero, I mean, it must be one of hundreds of Derby Campaneros. Hasn't been the most exciting, but we've been dominant in terms of possession. We've had a couple of chances. Ziggy unlucky not to open the scoring in that first half. But let's win it here. Let's win the league in the most exciting and rewarding manner possible. Let's do it. Rani's starting the half brightly here. Bruno Avini's out to tackle Arthur Rosende, but he does very well to step inside. But Igor's there. Gets a strong foot in. Finds the ball out to Jimmy Quids. Looks early for Asano. Doesn't find him, but Asano somehow gets to it. Madison spotted the run of Abner here. Oh, he's away from his man. Abner now with the effort. Oh, lovely work from the left back. Making a darting run into the space. he did well to turn. Get his head up and find him. The dummy away from his man puts him to the ground there. Broken ankles. Couldn't quite get the shot on target. Abner now again wants it short here. Oh, footwork. Just about finds Avini. Avini puts one over the top. Looking for Takuma Asano. It's a nice idea. It's actually... A well-weighted ball from the centre-back. Even as the airbus, huge in the air. Now Takuma Rosano turns his man. Oh, just about finds the ball out to Arnaldo. Arnaldo now, looking to run to the line. He's got Matthias Bidu with him. Turns inside, though. Good ball. Can't quite find Abner at the far post. Pedro Castro, good footwork, but loses out to David, who's been really strong for them. But Igor will get to this with the left-footed effort. Oh, somehow he scrapped that ball back. Really unlucky there for Igor. Even as has lost out. And now we're in danger ourselves here. Alvarenga. He's got Luis Carlos with him with Bruno Vini. Just go up a gear there. Win that back with ease. And now Abner down the line into Pedro Castro. It's three on three opportunity here. Inside Sakuma Asano. Marison will hold on to it. Puts a dangerous ball in. Just a little bit too much on it. Pedro Castro now on the turn. Finds Abner. It's his scythe down. But Abner now can bring it forward. Bruno's with him. Abner inside. Lovely work here from the left back. Oh, Fabrizio just wins it back. Unlucky. We're putting them under great pressure here. Still can't quite find the goal though. Abner. Into Castro. Once again, Abner always wanting to get forward. Oh, lovely footwork. Can he put a ball into the box here? Will he put a ball into the box? He'll go back to Thiago Real. Into Takuma Rosano. Jimmy Quids now with the effort. The block is there. 80 minutes on the clock. This is going to end in a board draw in a game that we really wanted to go out with fireworks and excitement. Surely we can't allow that to happen. Well, chance here with eight minutes left. Real danger here for Ponte Preta. Arthur Rosendi looks to put a ball in. It's a good ball. Oh, Ivan. Oof, bloody hell. We've dominated this game from minute one and we almost threw it away. So five minutes left here. Can we go out in the blaze of glory that we were hoping for? Broj is on. The local boy, the Campinas born and bred striker. He would love a goal today, I'm sure. Only three minutes left, though, so it is unlikely. Arnaldo wins it. 
Sano into Braj. Oof, that's a huge challenge there. Welcome to this game. And that is the end of the game. Braj unable to make a difference. Um, they're unhappy. I guess they've definitely not been promoted. Uh, but unfortunately, us winning the league now will go down to the final game. I think a point probably not enough. Depends on how Ratiba got on. Not a great game for us today, really. It's a real shame. It's a bit of an anti-climax there. Coratiba with the 3-0 win. <sighs> Interesting. So, yes. Well, no, we've won it. That's it. I mean, unless they, they need to win the next game by nine points. So, we did it. We've done enough. We've won the league. Excellent stuff. Next episode, the game will be not really a big deal. But very, very pleasing. We almost chucked it away. We asked, have we managed to chuck it away? The answer has been no. Just about we didn't. Thank God for that. So join me in the next one as we'll play the final game of the series. We'll take a look at all of this good stuff. Uh, Oliveira's had a bid in for China. Probably let him go. And then we'll start building the team for Serie A. <sighs> Exciting stuff. So join me for that one. It's great to be back in a regular episode. It's probably quite a long one, but hopefully not an hour and a half. I'll see you in a bit.